One afternoon, Edwin arrived at Manchester with an express. He looked shattered as he wheezed sluggishly into the station. Well, that was... Exciting, fantastic, brilliant. Let me finish, will you? Oh, sorry. As I was saying, that was tiring. Mr. Salmon, sir, I do apologize, but I'm not built for this kind of run. I need to stop sometimes. I know, Edwin, I know. Richard is our only express engine and will definitely need another. Did you choose a name for it yet? No, not yet. Hey, sir, what about the non-stopper? I don't think so. Thanks, Tom, but I'll have to give it some thought. And with that, Mr. Salmon walked away. Over the last couple of weeks, Mr. Salmon had been arranging to introduce a new express service, a non-stop passenger train that would go direct from Sheffield to Manchester to be hauled by steam. But the problem was, he had no suitable engine to run it. So his search began at Doncaster Works. Hello sir, my name is Edwin Salmon. I manage the wood headline. Hello sir, my name is Douglas. Douglas McAlpine. Nice to meet you Douglas. I'm looking for a steam locomotive, something like a Gresley or Papacum Pacific. Do you have anything like that around here? Not as far as I know. Okay, do you mind if I look around? Aye, no bother. Mr. Salmon took a little walk around the works, and after about half an hour, he noticed a grey tender standing alone in a siding. Around it, he saw loads of small parts of a steam engine. Then, he noticed the nameplate. That's interesting. Sir? Yes? These locomotive parts, how much do you want for them? If you can send an engine up, you can have them for free. We don't have any use for them. Mr. Salmon went to the office, just to make sure and use their telephone. Soon, Dave arrived to pick up the parts. What's this? Parts for our new engine. What engine? You'll find out in good time. Dave soon arrived at Sheffield, where he shunted the locomotive parts into the work shed, right next to Nigel and William, who were having an overhaul. Hello. Oh, hi Dave. What are these? Uh, some engine parts and a tender. Looks like we're going to have a new build. Hmm, really? Yep. Be interesting to see what it is. Dave dropped the mysterious parts off and left, leaving the other engines wondering who the new engine was. The next day, Edwin was pulling the non-stop express service. He soon arrived at Manchester, where Dominic rolled up next to him. Hello Ed. Anything interesting happening? Not really. I'm just exhausted. 
So, Nemo told me something about a new engine. Yeah, he's gonna take this train, hopefully. Dave told me that it's painted grey, but that's about it. We'll just have to wait and see. Weeks passed, and one afternoon, Mr. Salmon arrived at the works. How's it coming along, Tim? Unfortunately, a few parts were stolen last night. Oh? Yeah, a few pins, rivets, lubricators and the reversing handle. What about the whistle? No, it's still here. Why? Is it important? Yes, it's the only original one left. All the others are replicas. And you can imagine it's worth a lot. I say. Yeah. Anyway, how will we get the other parts? The police investigation would take too long, so worded new parts. Unfortunately, the diesel that was supposed to deliver them broke down and we need another engine to fill in for it. Can John or Dave go? Are any of the twins ready to go? Yes, both of them actually. Okay then. If Nigel covers for Timothy on the branch, Timothy can cover for Dave at the yard and Dave can then go and collect the parts for this loco. William and Norbert will have to manage without Nigel for a while. I think they can manage. At least until Stephen gets back from York. Excellent. A few days later, Edward and Richard were at Sheffield, preparing to doublehead one of Norbert's goods trains up to Peniston, while he was being renumbered at the works, when they suddenly heard a whistle. A three-chime whistle. What's that? It sounds like an A4, but there are no A4s around here. Just then, they saw a grey A4 Pacific puffing towards them. Hello chaps, do you need any help with that? Mr. Salmon said I could take it instead of you two. Well, I need a run, you see. The Black Five and the King were shocked. Um, sure. My name is Edwin. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. My name is Silverlink. You're the first A4, aren't you? I am indeed, and you're King Richard the Second, I presume? Yes, that's me. Please, tell us. How did you come to be here, Silverlink? Oh, please, call me Sylvester. When I was withdrawn, I was, I was used to spares, but they never really used all my parts, you see. Most of them were in good condition, but I was taken apart anyway. But thankfully, a local businessman bought my remains from the scrappers, and he tried to have me restored at Doncaster. But unfortunately, he went bankrupt and died not too long ago, poor chap. But, naturally, Mr. Salmon found me in time to complete the job, and, well, here I am. Silverlink, or Sylvester, cobbled up to the goods train and he soon took off and arrived at Peniston in record time. The next morning he was preparing to take the new non-stop express service up to Manchester when Dave rolled up next to the mighty engine. Hello Silverlink, my name's Dave. I must say it's an honour to meet you sir. Oh no, 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 please. I hate it when other engines and people call me sir. It's like they're saluting or something. Please, call me Sylvester. <laughs> Sorry Sylvester. All the same, glad to have you with us, and good luck! Ha 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 glad to be here, old chap. Thank you. Well, it looks like we better be off, driver.
he arrived at Manchester in less than 41 minutes, matching John's record. Mr Salmon stepped down from the first coach and addressed everyone on the platform. Thank you, one and all. Here on the Woodhead Line, we wish to preserve the memory of steam engines like the one behind me and keep them working as they were intended. I hereby name the service the Silver Rose, in honour of this grand locomotive, whose name has been a railway legend for a long time and shall be for a long time to come. Thank you. And so Silver Link became one of the Woodhead Line's fleet of engines and gave the railway its first non-stop passenger service with a dash of glamour and romance that had not been seen in many years. See you next time on the Woodhead Line.